The following is an excerpt from a game of Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. Games like Dungeons & Dragons are largely driven by improvisational comedy and role-playing. As is the case with a lot of improv comedy, it is very silly and joke-driven. Uh, so, Merrick is going to uh, be outside the bar. He's going to take a look inside. He's going to decide he wants to sort of make an entrance. He, he wants to, like, immediately have people have their eye on him. So he's going to cast Prestidigitation and put all the lights out in the bar. Just poof, all the candles out. And then I'll come back in, or I'll, I'll, I'll like, push the door open widely and do prestidigitation two more times, once to put a puff of smoke around me, and wants to reignite the candles, and be like, Behold, it is I, Merrick! I'm kind of sad because I was picturing, like, a regular saloon door, and, like, that he would just kind of walk right under it because he's so goddamn short. Yeah, probably. He's walking under it, but, like, still reaching up and, like, pushing it open anyways, just for dramatic flair. <laughs> There's a large bodyguard standing next to the door. He, he reaches down to grab you, and then he just, like, falls forward on his face, and he's unconscious now. That was unfortunate, but it is still I, Merrick! <laughs> Sir, you are causing unrest in this establishment. My deepest apologies. It was not my intention. And I'm gonna come up to the bar and, like, struggle to climb up the stool to get up on top of it. There we go. Honeyed mead, please! Uh, right yes, away, uh, sir. And they, uh, they, they hand you a cup of honey mead. Uh, I'm just gonna do the kid thing where he just, like, grabs it with both hands and he's just, like, like trying to drink it. It's too big for him. <laughs> As you oh. drink this, you start to feel a little bit fuzzy. And everything starts to get a little bit dizzy, and you think that you're probably more of a lightweight than you thought, as you collapse to the ground. Somebody help! Something's wrong! Uh, and then a, uh, a very muscular, handsome man is going to appear and say, Don't worry, I am a doctor. I've currently got my Eldritch Sight open. I keep it open most of the time, and I can see magical shit that's going around. You can detect there's a magic aura around the cup. It's like a curse. I stand up, and I walk over to the barkeep. It wasn't me, I swear! You can tell that the barkeep didn't poison the cup. It would appear as though this glass has been tampered with and has a curse on it. Do you know where this curse came from? No, I don't know anything about curses. I swear! The doctor is going to stand up and say, He'll be fine. Yeah, uh, Merrick wakes up with a hiccup. <gasps> yes, the curse of the Goblin Cook. Poor tiny man will hiccup endlessly. <gasps> I know of one cure. There's a magical herb that you can attain. It's very rare, though. But if you can find it, it will lead you to cure this endless... <gasps> yes. <laughs> All right, it seems I should be on my way then. <laughs> He's gonna put on a hat and leave. I don't think this man has a license. No, it's right here, and he pulls out a crayon-drawn license. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, very doctor, me. <laughs> did he come in with a hat on, or did he just take the hat like, from a counter and just put it on? Yes, he, he grabbed a random <laughs> patron's hat and just walked out with it. I came in with a hat. <laughs> yeah. I proceed to help Merrick up and be like, So, shall we go find that herb? Yes, absolutely! God, this seems like a very fine quest. A fine quest. You so shut many... your damn mouth! <laughs> what sort of bartender doesn't check his cups for curses? I mean, really! 